What's up, my G? <laughs> you don't get Hello, to say mate. What's up, my G? It's been so long. I know. Where you been Guess hiding? Of the decade is back. Guess of the decade. Well, apparently that's Chris Smith. He said. Yeah. Well. Proofs in the uh, in Proof. the views. Proofs in the pudding, as they say. Day off, mate. Yeah. You're allowed a day off, are you? Sometimes, sometimes. Only sometimes. I'm actually, I've done no work today. So that's oh, good. Actual day off then. Yeah. Living. I was up till two o'clock in the morning doing work, but. Was you? Yeah. Just doing the just doing the bits, I suppose. If you work for the UK's best burger, you know. Yeah. And they just opened a new restaurant. Champions. Yeah. Speaking of champions, is it coming yeah. back to North London? I don't know, mate. I don't know. I I still stand by. I'd be happy with anything in the top four. That's what I said at the start of the season. I'm getting a little bit excited for you. <laughs> I mean, I, I watched mean, it. I was. I saw the 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 foot. The alert came through on my phone, and it was like eleven seconds. Bournemouth one nil, and I was like, yeah. "Oh no!" Yeah, That's I was watching it with Dad. Cool. I was watching it with Dad, and it was a bit. Like, I literally went, oh, "Here we go." <laughs> You're not allowed to watch them. No, I've watched them quite a few times this season, and it hasn't. The, the curse has been lifted slightly. I just say it every time we lose, and I watch it. Yeah, I'm the same when I watch United round it, around the in-laws. There was a curse that I never, I'd never watch United win a game there. <laughs> <laughs> up until I think it was Liverpool this season. Yeah. Up until this season, both. For the last God knows how long, Man United and Arsenal have been crap. Yeah. And what I, well, yeah. United were crap and not playing good football. Yeah. You were playing good football, but the Arsenal way, where it was like, any chance you're going to shoot or. Yeah. And it just seemed to, seemed to have clicked. Yeah. I, I, I think Arteta's gone about things the right way. He's built a team. Hmm. Um, and he's got very specific rules and ways that he wants to play the game. And clearly the players that he got rid of that were superstars, in quotes, didn't want to play that way, weren't prepared to change. So he got rid of them and replaced them with youngsters and people that perhaps... A bit of fire in their belly. But Yeah, but on paper, like Trossard compared to Aubameyang, you're going, you're going to Aubameyang every time, but... You see him now that he's 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 joined us. It'd be, it'd be like, well, there's only one winner there for me, and that's that's Trossard. Yeah. Right, I think old Aubameyang got a bit big for his boots. I think he's not even well, getting he's not even getting Chelsea side now, and they, and they no. don't even have a they don't even have a striker. No, they and they're what eleventh, I think. And Maybe they 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 won today, didn't they? Bless him, bless him, bless him. It's a funny funny stat. You know, United since. Um, the World Cup, I think I've scored 50 goals. And Chelsea have scored six. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. They're Love terrible, to see it. Liverpool as well, not not great this year at all. I was talking to... Uh, he'll, he'll love this because this will be the third third episode in a row where he's had a bit of a shout-out. I was talking to Dunny earlier. Yeah. And I'm still shocked at how they're fourth still because they lost again today to Wolves. Well, Liverpool are fourth? No, Spurs. Oh, Spurs. Oh, they, we don't talk about them. Fourth. They lost again. It's like... It's yeah, but only, they're like 15 points off Arsenal, aren't they? Oh, they're low. Yeah, they're... they're, they're a, like, it's a massive gap. They're about... They're about nine points behind United, I think. Without right. looking. Um, but yeah, I look, I'm, I'm actually enjoying football this year. Yeah, it's it's been a good season. And I think it's good because... They, there's there's a few teams that are in with a shout. I mean, you can't you can't really write off Man United there's, at the moment. There's, there's a there's a proper old school fight. It feels like it doesn't seem like there's just one running away with it and or two with Liverpool. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I've got a funny. I've got a good stat here for you. Stato, Stato. If I saved it, I hope I did. 
Yeah. So there you go. Arsenal have named a starting eleven without a single player to have competed under Arsene Wenger for the fir- first time since like eighty nine, isn't it? Nineteen eighty six. Like so every yeah. every player since nineteen eighty six has played at least one game under Wenger. Yeah. And today was the first time. Yeah. So that must mean someone must be injured or suspended that hasn't played. Jacka. Jacka. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's madness. Well, Jacka came on, but he didn't start. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a bit like the uh, crazy stat from United. I think United have played a youth team player since like 1958. <laughs> There's always been a youth player. Well, that's, that's a good stat. Yeah. Level that. I went on a proper um because because my Xbox died, God rest its soul. Yeah. Um I was like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do with my days off? <laughs> so I went on like a football documentary binge the other day. I think I watched right. I, I watched like um the United Way. Obviously I'm a United fan, so it's gonna be heavily on that. I watched the United Way, class of ninety two, and then Rooney. And I was like, I love football. <laughs> <laughs> I love football. Well, uh, Alan that I work with, he's a Man United fan and he's been watching every Man United goal since the Premier League started. Like, Literally, he's watching it on YouTube, every single goal in chronological order. In chronological order? Who was yeah. the first goal? I don't know. I, mean, like, I reckon it's someone rascal like Brian McClare. Could be. Did Brian McClare play in the Premier League? Yeah. Num- he was number nine for a bit. Yeah. And then, uh, and then Coley took it. Brian McClare. Have you seen him lately? He looks like a homeless person. Yeah, yeah. I saw there was a thing on fucking... Twitter or something of him in a pub. Yeah, but a fucking big old, big old bushy beard. Yeah. Mate, right. Obviously, today is the um, fourth anniversary of the podcast I put up our first video as part of the compilation thing that I did today and yeah. I look back on it hey you look so different <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is you were my age when I started yeah grand old 36 years old mm. or will be on Tuesday yeah 40 couple, couple of weeks yeah Boy, and still and still going to put the boots on. Yeah, yeah. Getting it done. Mark, Mark, Mark's funny. Mark keeps counting. He goes, he's like, just so you know, I have got another game the following week. He was like, I go, <laughs> I go fifty-one weeks of the year <laughs> without playing, and I've got two in two weeks. He went, I don't mind if I don't play as many minutes. And I went, that wasn't my choice last time. Well, same. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think we got some legs this time. We thought that last time. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't decided where I'm playing yet. I could play where I want. It's my team, isn't it? Well, you could mix it up. You don't have to yeah, I, I did say that to a few of the lads. I was like, it's not going to be set in stone. Who plays where? But... Apart from the keeper, yeah. Who, who's doing goal this year? It's uh, a lad I've played um, five a side with. He's one of uh, Kate's cousins' mates. Bet he's a very right. good goalkeeper. He was on a, ring, a ringer. Yeah, he was on Millwall's books as a as a youth, I believe. He's a yeah cla- class shot stopper like. Right. So slide in. It's only because Brooks he's having a having a kid. Around, around the time of the uh, the game. So, tell you what, so much less stress on this one. <laughs> not have, not having to pay two and a half grand to rent Spurs. Yeah, was a bit of a godsend, really. Well, I, I think it'd be a bit more of a competitive game as well. It's all well and good playing against legends of the game, but I mean, if. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah still there. 
if we're if we're honest, there's there was about three players that any of us knew that were playing. They yeah. might have played for Spurs, but they weren't exactly. It was one of those, that, and they they old Sparky that was playing in the middle. He only finished playing last year. Yeah, you know, I know. What do you expect? What do you expect? That, like, I understand if it was like Spurs legends against West Ham legends. Get, yeah, get the, but get the... against. I mean, I, I guess the brand doesn't want to lose because I can guarantee if you looked through the results that they've had, I bet they never lose. Well, they drew. Did they draw? I think they drew with the Waitrose team last time, but they've now again changed the rules. So obviously it favours them. Like you can't have anyone under 30 now. I think it is something like that. Well, that's that was the rules for our game. Yeah, we that's the eighteen-year-old goalkeeper. Yeah, and I spoke to Matt, and he went, "Yeah, we we tend to get a couple of ringers in." I was like, "All right." So, <laughs> but yeah, it was a good day, I just, and I, I just think this I one. I genuinely I'm, don't. I don't get the point of that. No, nah. it was. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't. It'd be. In, do you know what would be interesting to do? I was just thinking about it, is to is to actually have. A, a a team like for example say try try the best to get um all of the players that played in the USR team that I played in that won everything yeah yeah good team to try and get them all back together and let them play against that Spurs team yeah because it'd be a bit more competitive wouldn't it I mean, our game, like, the score was ridiculous. Score, yeah. Well, it wasn't well, then, ridiculous, but when you consider that every person that was on that pitch for them was paid to play football at some point in their life. Yeah. And we had a back four that at one point com- comprised of a... Well, Chris Smith had never played. Chris Smith had never played. Um, I mean, that makes it fun. But... Big, 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 big Stu blew out his calf. Yeah, Reese. I don't even know. I don't even know if he was actually on the pitch at all. Really, <laughs> <laughs> he's getting so much shit. <laughs> is he? Is he just going to be the water boy this year? Well, can we get he, him, can we get him a teacher with H two O on it? I'm I'm definitely getting <clears throat> Dunny and the old man some polo shirts. Yeah, with a. Uh, with the badge on, because uh, obviously Dunny's is yeah he's not he's nowhere near going to be ready to play. He's just had surgery. How is he? Yeah. He, should, he, should, he came he came back on the pitch in our in our game when he shouldn't have done. Yeah. He he blown out his knee completely. Well, we told him that. <laughs> well, he was he was wearing those fucking socks on those fucking tights. Mm. Oh, I mean, he looked like Robocop from the, the moment we walked. How out. he was, how he was running, I don't know. Genuinely, fair play to him for cracking on. No. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, but at the detriment to his knee, so. Yeah, yeah, but you know, see, Reese, Reese, that's an actual injury, though. <laughs> Not a tweak of your hamstring. Now, fuck off. I tell you what, though, I, I, I think we've discussed this before. My legs were not right for a week after that game, but I did play the entire game. Play seven minutes, didn't you? Did you even have a? Did you have a breather? Really? I came off for thirty seconds, and then Dad put me back on. Tell me, your old man was running the uh, bench without telling me your old man was running the bench. <laughs> he just knew left. I was. He just knew I was blowing. That's the only reason why I came off. Because the thing, the thing was that that's when I went to take that free kick, and everybody was like, "You, you take it." And I, I literally, I had so much doubt in my head that I could even lift my leg to kick the ball. It what was so I've never that had is, that before. You still managed to clear the car park and everything with that with that free kick. So well, how you managed to generate any power when your legs weren't working? <laughs> honestly, I've never experienced that in my life doing anything. <laughs> My yeah. entire life, I've never, my legs have never felt like that. 
crazy, mate. It is great. Do you know, like even it even now, fun. even now doing um the bit of training that we're doing, you know, um, it's it's like like I said, I love football at the start, but it's sort of like reignited that fire. So I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't work most weekends because I would. This is this is this is how disgusting this sounds now. I would definitely sign up to a vets team. I'm old enough to play vets football now. What has happened? Yeah, but there's no, but there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. If you were told me oh, that no, you're no, going to no. sign up, that you're going to sign up for walking football, that's a thing, isn't it? Walking football is a thing. Yeah, football. That's for, that's dad should do that. Oh, you can no, barely walk though. No, he shouldn't. No. No, he, but yeah, he went, yeah, he went to hit some golf balls today. I think that's the most like his back is so fucked. Yeah, he, he, need, he, he needs to go back to the doctor and go, everything is fucked. And they're going to go, Where did these injuries come from? And he's going to go, Well, jumping out of airplane, he, he won't do that. And then they'll go, Right, we all adjust your fucking. Disablement. Yeah, they, he won't do that though. No, nah, he won't. He's got me. Crazy bastard. Yeah. But yeah, we've oh, um yeah. we've started doing um proper sessions now on the on the three G pitch. Well, I say we're doing proper sessions. We've done one proper session, and then this week everyone went on the piss. <laughs> Apart from me and Dan. That's what, that's what you want. Isn't it? <laughs> Dan didn't go. No, no. So, Reese and um, Jordan and one of the other, one of the new players we got in, they've all gone to the darts. It's not a sport. Um, this weekend, Sai went on the piss. Luke was ill. Lee, I think, is vegan or something. I don't know. Um, vegan. <laughs> I don't know if he is actually vegan, but he's definitely didn't turn up. So yeah, so we just ended up with me and Dan. Dan's boy and two of his mates. I ran a couple of drills, which was with decent drills. And then we played headers and volleys for like half an hour. Do you know what shocked me the most? These kids had never played headers and volleys. No, they don't. Kids don't play headers and volleys anymore. Kids they didn't even know what a volley anymore. was at one point, mate. They were letting it bounce and then bounce again and then hit it. And I'm like, that's not a volley. What, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, well, they. They don't have rules anymore because everybody is a winner. So they wouldn't play. They wouldn't play games like that. Well, they need to like. They don't go outside, Sean. Need to phone a mate on the landline. Go, <laughs> go and call on your mate. Fancy, fancy coming down the park? Quick game of heads and balls. Go and knock on their door and ask them if they if they want to come out and play. Rob Artland smashed his head on the wall, tipping the tipping the ball over the. The cage. Yeah. It was a cage, mate. Yeah, it's different now. It's um it's all concrete and it's it's like a jail cell now rather than a cage. Wow. It's a blue jail scale jail scale? Wow. <laughs> jail wow. <laughs> jail scale. <laughs> jail cell. Mate, we had so so many good memories down that park. Yeah. Do you know when we, you just me and you used to go down, and we used to just mm-hmm. go out on the grass and just kick footballs to each other. Yeah. Christmas Day, taking yep. the new football down. New football, yeah. It was, it was and it was that and horrible, horrible plastic Man United ball. Horrible plastic one, and oh, you pelt, yes. and you pelted at me, and I headed it, <laughs> and I don't think I ever headed the ball. Properly ever again. <laughs> yeah, that Man United pool was horrible. Oh, a weird plastic. Oh, I told yeah. I I told this story on the the world famous obsessive conversive podcast, the greatest show of all time. Yeah, but I thought I got AIDS from Gorky. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> I ran over a Johnny. I think that was in about 1990. Mark Lewis and Matt Smith and Simon Clark told me that 
I might have AIDS. Yes. And if I do, in a few days' time, I'll get a coffin, a little coffin, a little, like, <laughs> half an iPhone-sized coffin sent through the post with, congratulations, you've got AIDS. <laughs> written on it. I, I was so scared. I you couldn't believe it. No. Fuck that out. Hey, mum, I think I've got AIDS. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, oh, there was, there was so Johnny. many things. There was so many things I was so scared of. <laughs> the the there fucking was the, angel, mate. The, the angel. I ran home so many times away from that. Oh, I hated that. I never um, used to go, walk that way into school or out of school. No. I'd, I, if I had to, no. I'd, go, I'd go all the I way. Still, around. I still. I still. You still check it? Yep. Because so I've been I, there. For I never. A, I could never there for a few... remember what it was supposed to be. And, was it arms it's crossed and then praying, or was it the other way around? Oh, I don't know. I just thought it came alive. Can you imagine if that happened? <gasps> oh, I, I, I still remember, like, people, like, like Michael Parton and that would be like, oh, you fancy hanging out in the, in the, in the, in the cemetery? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. I still wouldn't do that now. Mon uh... Monsters and that. I don't know. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> Zombies, Dracula. Oh, I saw a I saw a funny um thing on on reels. I think it was. I was flick. I was bored, mate. I was just flicking. Lost probably about two hours of my life watching things that are about fifteen seconds long. But one of them was insults are going to change now. There's no your mum is fat jokes anymore. It's just going to annoy me. No, it's it's going to be. I've got about three gig of porn of your mum on my phone. Because yeah. <laughs> everyone's starting up OnlyFans, aren't they? Yeah. Every chick. Link in the bio. But... It, porn's <laughs> free. I've said this before. <laughs> but yeah, can you imagine going to school and you're like 16? And then your mates are just chuckling away, like, what are you laughing at? Oh, I've got your mum on. <laughs> you look at your face. <laughs> what I mean is, like, how, how do you, how do you find that? Not, I don't care. What I do just, you so you can't just, like, do like a broad search, can you? I don't I, think. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. You can't do a sweeping, like who's on OnlyFans in Kent, no, you'd or have, you'd in have to... Aylesford or wherever the fuck you live, back end of fucking nah, near you'd, London. Nah, you'd, you'd have, you'd, yeah, you'd have to like <clears throat> be on their Instagram or whatever, and then go, oh yeah, saucy. Check out my spicy page. Why, why, why are you calling it why... spicy page? I, I I don't know. Fucking. Then everybody that I follow on the Instagram does not have the spicy page, so I've never seen it. I might I might do one. I think the lads at work said that somebody that used to work for us had it for a while. They would know. Yeah, because they're youngsters. They're youths. Youths, mate. I get the internets, but there are certain things these days I. Mate, you're you're TikTok, older. I don't care. You're older than Google, mate. I know. I know. So am I, actually. So that's not really an insult. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Jeeves. Mm. I was trying to think of the. We were, we were talking about this the other day. Yahoo. I still do that. If I see someone with a Yahoo email, yeah. I'll type out their name and I go at yahoo.com. That's... What was the one with the dog? Dog? Yeah, there was a, like a black dog and there was a search engine. I can't, for the, I'm not Googling it. It will come to me one day. It know. was around about the time of Ask Jeeves. I just remember Ask Jeeves. Mm. He Maybe me. it was Ask Jeeves. Maybe it was like a. No, that was like a waiter, wasn't it? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I you know, I love I loved growing up and the time we did. It's so much better than now. I mean, I think every I think every generation says that, don't they? But I, I I do think it's a bit crap that like you never see, or if you do see groups of kids like out on their bikes, they oh trouble yeah you don't just think you don't just think that there's a group of kids but they they're usually blaring music from a from a bluetooth speaker just making a ruckus or pulling wheelies but oh Wheelie they use nilly. love a wheelie don't they oh i like watching them on on the internets when they try and do it and then they smash into a car or something mm. it, ma- it it makes my day I'm I like, do... you deserve that for playing with traffic. Yes. See, I changed my algorithm on um, Instagram because it was getting a bit much. Because, like, all of my stuff is either food or fitness. Yeah. The fitness started getting real sexy. Sexy so fitness like, these days, mate. Yeah, but it was, like, over, like, too much. Like, girls doing hip raises with their shorts pulled so far up. You don't need an OnlyFans. It's right there. I can if see you know that, what I mean, mate. Only hoof. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, I can't be having this every time I open my phone. Like it's it's the first couple. You're like, oh, what's that? And afterwards, you're like, oh, fuck's sake, I don't want to. Be... So I started looking at puppies, as in little dogs. Yeah. Kittens. I learned so much, Jen. Like, don't this. don't judge me on this, but disabled people doing funny things. Yeah, I'm not going to judge. And they are funny. People hurting themselves. Yeah. So that's all I get on reels now, which is great. I'm all for that. So when it comes up reels, you may like. It's just like, um, either a puppy doing something really cute. Like I learned a lot a about la- cats doing that. A lad with Down syndrome thinking he's Stone Cold Steve Austin with the beer bottles in the pool. Oh, you know? in the pool when he smashes it. Woo! Yeah. Top lad, mate. Um, yeah, his dad in the background going, don't smash that, don't. Uh, and he, woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and like people falling off their motorbikes. Yeah. Great. Oh, I'm and planes. Always planes. But I'm, I'm all for that. But occasionally it'll slip in just like a great glute workout it's like that's not what you're doing we all no. know what you're doing there will be somewhere just... on there it will be link in the bio spicy page spicy <laughs> the vindaloo page <laughs> too hot to handle <laughs> um <laughs> 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 Having basically grown up in gyms, I can think of a less sexy place to be. Smells. <laughs> the gym. The gym smells. You mean? Yeah. I was um. I was describing our gym to a, a bloke at work the other day. I was like, Is it, it was archways. Yeah, I was like, it's brilliant. The most impractical gym of all time. Yeah, it was brilliant though. Stick the meatheads downstairs. Yeah, but the funny thing was, think about how it was set up. It was a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the weights room was on the second floor. Yeah, that should have been of a of a listed building. Oh, so whose idea was that, then? Dad's? No, no, that was um... just didn't move it. Yeah, we also... moved it around. Oh they, um, no! I was going to say I'm really stupid then, but they obviously built it when it was in the room. <laughs> I was going to say, how the fuck did they get those up those uh, stairs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, the sauna and steam was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had a sauna in ages. A nice dry sauna. Oh, yeah, he tried to kill a guy. Tried 
Trying to eat a guy. Yeah, he, he pays that much. What was his name? Jan. Jan. Yeah. I spent yeah, a few you, times. You, you, you helped him get massive too. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm. And he tried to eat someone. People are thinking, what the fuck are these guys talking about now? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, I had a guy, um, I think he was Slovakian, and he'd come over in the height of uh, Europeans coming over and working on the fruit farms in Hereford. And he wanted to get bigger, so I helped him do that. Um, he went mental, and he walked from, I think he lived on, like, Central Avenue in Hereford, and he walked all the way to Kington, which is a long, it's a half an hour minimum drive. Yeah, that's a fair few miles. So he walked all the way there. Broke into a guy's house. I think he had a psychotic episode. I don't think he ever intended on getting that this one specific guy. But yeah, he broke into his house and bit his fucking thumb off. Did he chew a bit of his face as well? Maybe. But the great thing about that was that um, two days prior to that, we'd gone putting flyers through people's doors and he, get, he gave me a... Uh, a testimonial which is on the oh, back of yes. the flyer thanks thanks Jan yes great, great and, timing and you have like a sauna with him like two days before as well yeah yeah he was, in the sauna. He, and he 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 was very quiet and like um, meditating almost and I was like what are you doing then and he said I have a mantra and it's every day everywhere I feel stronger and he was just saying that over and over and over in his head so maybe he'd already started going mental and then... Proper head mental, if anything. Yeah. Well, you bet a guy's thumb off. You've got to be... Yeah. You've got to be in a bad way to do that, haven't you? That's a bit... That's a bit nuts. Wow. That took a turn. Yeah. Welcome to the case files. Hereford case files. I wonder if I could find that. I, I see if I can find that. You can put it in the show notes. The show notes. <laughs> I'm sure we could. Let's see if I can pick up like, ping it up on his phone. So, uh, Johnny Jones, what do you reckon? Well, I'm not very confident now because Drake has put a bet on John Jones winning, and you know he's he's cursed. Whoever Drake puts a bet on, they always lose. Have you seen the weigh-ins? He's big, though, isn't he? Oh, he's a big boy. He's Thick. A big boy. I missed the John Jones one, but randomly I was watching it and I was like, I know that guy. Why do I know that guy? Why do I know his face from? It's fucking Jake Gyllenhaal doing a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they were shooting for... He, is he on? He's definitely on some sort of Mexican supplements because he is... Well, he's an actor, so it doesn't matter, He's a, He's a tasty treat. <laughs> tasty treat. Tasty, tasty. Oh, I think I might have found it. I hope so. Jan Omtak. Omtak. 27 of Princess Avenue. So it wasn't Central Avenue. Just made that one up. It's fine. It was a long time ago. Uh, I'm going to read you this because... Uh, right. Jan... Omtak, 27, of Princess Avenue, Hereford, made animal noises and also bit Douglas Morgan's face, hand, arm and body. Mr. Omtak was said to be like a man possessed in the attack at Lions Hall near Kington. Got that right. Mr. Omtak admits the, the facts but denies attempted murder or wounding with intent by reason of insanity. Ah. Uh, so he's saying he's not insane so no he is insane oh he is insane for reasons of insanity yeah ah uh, I thought he said he denied it for reason oh he denied no he denied oh, trying yeah. to kill yeah 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 I didn't do it on purpose I was mental yeah that is pretty mental 
The Hereford Cannibal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but why did he walk all the way to get... I've got questions. It's a long walk. But what? Why was he going to Kington? Lions Hall. That's where Ellie Gold is from. Yep. Maybe he was looking for Ellie. <laughs> Probably saw her in the gym. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she would have been. Yeah, that's gym. right, motherfuckers. We had a famous person that wasn't famous at the time in our gym. Yeah. Yeah. He used to come in at really annoying times on a Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Five minutes okay. before closing, and then Dad had the stupid idea that if you're in before we the doors close, you can stay for two hours. Yeah, cheers. And she'd just I want, run. I want to go out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go out fighting and fucking let me out. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible bastard. Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't, generally can't believe this. Bit, I've been doing this for four years. No. In the, the in point. the in the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> that, that still cracks me up. Accurate, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? To this day now, I question when I use Every... the word accurate. I'm I still can't like, say it properly. Did, inaccurate. Did I do it? <laughs> yeah. So there's been a couple of little horrors in the beginning, which. I thought I said it funny, but it's not. It was you picked up on me saying in the beginning. But oh, I can't even say it now. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the the clip of the African gentleman. Yeah. And we had totally inaccurate. Oh, fucking yeah. Inaccurate. Tactically. 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 And then um, Kate found a new one, which was me <laughs> singing Welcome to the Granite Zero podcast. I, there was a fucking genuine bloke that came on. I was like, "Welcome to the Granite Zero podcast. Thank you for your time." <laughs> Kate was like, "Why did you do that?" And I wanted to know. I just got lost. <laughs> the guy must have gone. You fucking bellend. <laughs> oh, great times. Still going. Yeah, still going. You got to think that like, everybody's lost two years. The the panda. Like I always think. Like I always forget. About about that, I, I know it happened. Yeah, but you like in terms of your timeline, that that's it's gone because it didn't happen. Yeah, because everything was shut. Weird time. Crap, I hated it. Well, I say that I liked the initial lockdown when everything was closed and it was hot and sunny and I grew my plants. You did. Fucking love growing those plants. And. I have to send Just, you a new link. Oh, um, you got less than a minute. Okay. At some point, I should probably pay for Zoom. How much is it? I don't know. Seventy-three quid for the year, I think. I mean, that's not very much. It probably isn't, but seventy-three quid. <laughs> you could always go back to Skype. No. Because then I have to do all the fucking work. <laughs> I'm a lazy fucker. I'll send you the link. All right. Oh, I should have brought my mouse. Hello. You're at the adverts. So don't turn off. Don't turn off because I've got some good stuff for you. First up, I'm going to talk about our sponsors. Kent CBD is our first sponsor. Now, CBD oil, as you know, has tremendous benefits especially within mental health and physical health. Personally, I use it to help with my anxiety and my depression, but not only that, I also use it to help with the aches and pains of life in my joints, especially my ankles and my knees. Um, but yeah, without CBD oil, I would have still been on my antidepressant tablets, which I'm no longer on. So, you know, every cloud. And what we're gonna do here at Granite Zero is we're gonna give you 10% off everything from oil, Muscle rub, jellies, bath salts, the lot. Yeah? Make sure you get in there. www.kentcbd.org. Put in the promo code GRANITE ZERO and get yourself 10% off. You are welcome. But also, if you're like me and you love a nice cup of coffee. Now, for me, 
I only drink one coffee, and that's Green Beret coffee. Now, I don't only drink it because it's out of this world fucking coffee, roast to order, grinded to whatever specific grind you want. But not only that, it's veteran owned and veteran run, which, you know, hits me right in the feels. So make sure you check it out, Green Beret Coffee. Get yourself a nice cup of coffee. I drink it dark, just like my soul. Incredible stuff, incredible stuff. And what I'm going to give for you, I'm going to give you 10% off. So once you get to the checkout, once you've got all your coffee, your products, your apparel, whatever you need, get to the checkout and put in the promo code GZPODCAST10 and get yourself 10% off, courtesy of the Granite Zero Podcast. You are welcome. Now, that's enough of me talking about this stuff. Back to the regular scheduled show. Check it out! Oof. So, random thought. Yeah, I love a random so I'm 40 in a couple of weeks. So I have to start getting finger blasted by a doctor. I think so. Right uh, up there. I don't, I don't want to do that. No. No. I, <coughs> so I, I had to go get checked out the other day. <clears throat> I mentioned it on the podcast with Chris. Found it. Got a bit of a lump under me fucking... Under me nip. Right. Um, basically, it's just a swollen gland, gland, okay. gland, oh, gland. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I went there to get that checked out, and I was sat there with a the doctor. Very had a little feel around me tit, and then he went, uh, "This could be a change in your hormones. I'm gonna have to check your testicles." I was like, "Well, I, well. <laughs> <laughs> right, at least buy me dinner." <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, there was no warning for this, mate. And the uh, the nurse, I think she was a bit taken back. She was like, I'll, I'll turn around and protect your modesty. And I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> Did, why didn't you say, can you do it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I what my... You were like, oh, my God, I'm gay now. <laughs> when you could have gone, no, 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 you, you come here, you do it. I don't care how old you are. You cut those balls. <laughs> Instead, you were just like, yeah, okay, maybe I'm gay now. <laughs> or maybe I, I maybe, have, maybe say have... to her, uh, maybe I... say to her, no, you watch, and then it's not gay. You watch and just make eye contact. Yeah, you keep looking at me dead in the eye, <laughs> please. <laughs> I, mean, I, I always, like, get nervous when they do that, because... <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, how many times? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, this right. So this will be the third or fourth time I've had to have my nuts checked by the doctor. Right. So, uh, this time. <laughs> so there was this time. Um, then there was a time where I had a assist on my test testing right. test test clay. So, yeah. doctor had to have a cup of feel on that one, and then my Air Force medical. It may even be four or five times because I'm pretty sure they did it <laughs> while I was serving as well. But I'm, I always have it in my head. I'm like, <laughs> what if they start like cupping and cupping the balls, and the old Captain Winky goes, Ha-ha, "Hello." <laughs> 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 it's like you're gonna give me a little bit of time just so I can give her a couple of little quick tugs, just to get a little bit of blood in there, because otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, there's no point. <laughs> Proper physic. Yeah. He's gone hiding, uh, like a little, yeah. like a little baby mouse, a hairless baby mouse. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys stayed to after the break. <laughs> oh. Boy. Yeah. Luckily I haven't I haven't had to experience such uh homosexuality. Well they'll go why is that so brown? <laughs> 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 oh. yeah. It'd be like Mr. Thompson, can you please pull down your your trousers and your pants. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Why do you have a pet iguana? Why is it like that? <sighs> Why have you got a baby's arm holding an apple? <laughs> Fuck it. Help. <laughs> oh, I haven't got the Joe Rogan cough button. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Oh, apologies for that. I think it's only Joe that can afford that. You just press the cough button. I I did see a clip from the le- is it the latest episode with Russell Brown? I haven't, yeah. I haven't watched it all yet, um, but I saw a little clip of it, and they were talking about the pandemic, and in, in London they managed to get all the homeless people off the streets. Oh, and hotels, yeah, into hotels. And housing, and when the pandemic finished, they kicked them all out again. Yeah, get the fuck out, like. <laughs> Cheers. Well, it just goes to show that they can sort it out. They just don't want to. Yeah, uh, that is literally. <laughs> But also, Proof, if you're, no, that's not true. That's some Russell Brand hippie shit there. It's that nobody could stay in the hotels, so the hotels were empty. Good point. Well presented. Well presented. Yeah. I mean, they could they could help, and yeah. they don't want to. But using hotels is not an option. The the. Funniest thing I've heard was um, with a load of illegals that have come over, and they put illegals, them illegals, yeah, because they were illegal, mate. I don't know where they've come from, so I'm just going to refer to them as illegals. Okay, it's not legally coming over, are they? They're on a little fucking dinghy. Yeah, row, row, row your boat. But they've they've really? landed, seeking asylum. Sure, do your thing. They put them up in um, military accommodation. And they complained <laughs> that it wasn't what? good enough standard. We have to live. We used to have to live in that shit. And yeah, they're right. It's not up to standard. What's wrong with it? Everything, mate. Everything now, because um, it's all it's all um, like contracted out. So instead of all where previously, while I was serving and when Dad was serving, it was all in house stuff. So if you had something broken, there'd be a branch of the army, air force, or navy that would go and fix it, and it would get fixed. Even down to your meals, was all done by the military catering corps or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. it was all free, or not free, but subsidised from your wages into into the, and it was decent decent food. Yeah. Now it's all given out to Sodexo and people like that, and it's paid. They, they do hospitals and that as well, don't yeah, they? Shit, mate. Like you, you, the amount of times that I've seen photos and things of like uncooked chicken and like even down to like having maggots and things in the rice and Great yeah, look. cheers, make your blood red, mad mate. But yeah, what's the merchant navy? I don't know. <laughs> Is it isn't wasn't the merchant navy? Wasn't that the civilian? Navy that helped. I should know that, but I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I looked at planes and look after boats. <laughs> you had any helicopters fly over lately, mate? Yes, yes. It's always the same ones, so. though. You bored now? <laughs> Need to take you to I an just... air show. Yeah. Oh, I'd love an air show. Ooh. They do a good one at Big and Ill, but you'd have to come all the way down here. I mean, I wouldn't need to. I'd just go and stay in that hotel that I stayed in last time. It was right next door to a. Oh, next next to the, that's where Kate that's Temple great. works. That they used amazing. they they generally used to do a really good air show there. Why well, well, don't they anymore? He, he helps build the parts that go into the Eurofighter. All right. Apparently, I thought that was French. No. B A system. Sure, the Eurofighter is French. That was mine. All mine. It's not yours. <laughs> oh, before I took the uh, bog standard Darren Thompson cooking picture to put on the post, I was flicking yeah. through your your Instagram and there was the pictures with of uh, Quickmore flying. I was like, it's so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm too thick. <laughs> It, yeah, 
it's not a simple task. I can I can't even nav while I'm walking, let alone guide a missile. What are you doing? So no, that's different. I mean, loads of people use the, the Eurofighter, but it doesn't say who created <clears throat> it. It's um, well, some certain parts come from BA. Is it BAE Systems? Um, yeah, living a dream. Designed to be an effective dogfighter in combat, like we dogfight anymore. Any dogfight if you're in Top Gun. Yeah. Do you know what I love, right? And it always it always makes me laugh because I, I, it makes people go, oh, yeah, maybe it's true. When they go, oh, there's a theory behind Top Gun 2 where he actually died in the takeoff in the opening scene and the rest is a dream. It's like, it's just a movie. Yeah. It's not always, it too much. It's not always something attached to the movie. No. <laughs> Especially a movie like Top Gun. Just enjoy it. Because I've, I've seen theories where people, well, not theories, where people have been like, if he ejected at that height, at that speed, then he would have just been turned into particles, blah, blah, blah. And then you've had other people saying, yeah, but you don't see him actually eject. And there could be like a, a Star Wars shuttle sort of ejection thing that takes you to a certain altitude and a certain speed that you then eject out of that. I was like, bore off, nerd. <laughs> hey, nerd. Shut kick rocks. Kick rocks. <laughs> Go kick rocks. Yeah, so John Jones is going to win tonight. How's he going to win? Drawing he's him down? Gonna, he's going to batter him. He's going to slash him to death with elbows. I was, I was watching him. I was watching earlier him against Shogun. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah. I remember when you first showed me that. And who else? Uh, the Machado. When he choked him till he ceased to be. Yeah. And just left him. Mm-hmm. Dead. Now, I'm not overly familiar with Cyril Garn. Haven't seen a great deal of his fights. But I do know that John Jones has had more title fights than he's had fights. Yeah. Which, he might be great. But if I was a betting man, my money's on John. Johnny Bones. John. <gasps> Ring rust aside, don't think for a second he hasn't been doing things. Doing bits, mate. He's been doing bits. I saw a clip the other day of John Jones's only loss. And he didn't lose. That should be chalked up. And it his... was literally just him battering him in mount with elbows. And obviously he did the naughty elbow. Yeah. Bullshit. But he battered him for... <laughs> for the whole round, yeah, I don't know how many rounds the, it was, but I don't get the twelve-six elbow. I, Anything that hurts I mean, your elbow, gotta hurt your elbow more. That's where. But are you generating any more power that way than you are that way? Nah. For those of you just listening, a twelve-six elbow is going from twelve o'clock till six o'clock, and the elbow that I demonstrated is like a Muay Thai elbow. Which essentially is going six six. Therefore, the inertia created. But you can go. It's going to be far greater. But you can go six to twelve. Yeah, but that you're not generating as much. <laughs> like in a movie, you go from six to six. Fuck up. <laughs> but yeah, I I don't understand. Like there, there there are some silly silly rules in in MMA that. <coughs> Ooh. It was all to do with TV, the, the, the rules. It was brutal, wasn't it? No, but it's, it's to do that's with That's what them. they thought. That's what they said. Yeah. That's why they put gloves on them. Yeah, they don't, they don't want it to seem too... You know, two guys in, a, in their underwear fighting in a cage that they can't get out of. That's not brutal enough. That's, that's funny as well, isn't it? But if they throw a 12 to 6 elbow, oh. So what do you do for a living? I fight my pants. Yeah. 
Fight in my pants. Oh, Good Mason point, sent me a message earlier as well. Did he? Yeah. Well, it's because... It, right, this annoyed me as well. Fucking Instagram. So, I put my uh, little video out. So, happy birthday to myself, because narcissist. Yeah. Um, and I've obviously tagged certain people in it. And then uh, I had a message come through from Instagram saying that this Sorry. video... This video is illegal in all these different countries, like Northern Samoa was one of them. Uh, America. Why? North America, it said. Um, and I queried it because it said, like, because it's not my video. And I was like, but it is my video because it's all my content. The only thing that isn't mine is the music that goes with it. But I got that from your Instagram library. Right. What did they say? They haven't replied yet. <laughs> so I've tagged um, old Jonah in the video, and he's going, I can't see this, mate. What is it? Is he know. in America? Yeah. He's in Cali. I thought he was going to go on the Ultimate Fighter, but he didn't go on it. He doesn't need to. I know, but he, he, he was going to. He just wants to bang, bro. I thought the ultimate fighter were for unsigned. Yeah, but it, there's little loopholes that they can do because certain fighters can go back on through that as well if they've had less than six fights, I think, something like that, within the UFC. I see. I just want a bang, bro. Yeah, I've not off the mace for a while, actually. But it is because he's in America. And every time I text yeah. him, I get a text about four weeks later. Yeah. And uh, old uh, Tank got it wrong as well, didn't he? For, um, I oh, know you don't care. T Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul boxing match. He thought Jake Paul would win. Mm. Never in doubt, mate. <laughs> Your face just says it all, really. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you if you're into watching the likes of Jake Paul and that on YouTube, then it's good fun. Billy Boots, Billy Boots, good fun. Yeah, but it, they they all do it now, don't they? They even have like TikTok stars that now box. It's like, but you're not boxing. You're gonna get, you're gonna get fucking hurt. Well, maybe one of them needs needs to. Yeah. Anyway. But the thing is, it'll be in the contracts that you're gonna need. To, like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know enough about it because it literally makes me want to sleep. No night. <laughs> no night. Like, like even like YouTuber versus YouTuber. I'm, I've got no investment in it. To me, the amount of money that they're making off it is ridiculous because it's probably more entertaining to go to a white collar boxing match. Yeah. And Even for a better, better cause, because they're usually for charity. Exactly. I don't like Jake Paul's head. No. Also, so your hairline is gone, mate. You just shave your hair off. Yeah. Don't brush all your noodle hair forward, mate. You're bold, basically. Just get rid of it. Yeah. Just get rid of it. What's his 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 brother does YouTubing as well. Yeah. Look, is it time for me to just accept that being a YouTuber or TikTok star is a thing? Is a profession. Yeah. I mean, maybe it is. I mean, I, 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 I mean, they make the more same, money than me, I'm, so yeah, I'm the my... same thing as you. I I uh, I don't like the fact that they're they're praised and given money for being shit and just being annoying. But whatever I mean, they do, whatever what they're do they doing do? is is working. Like the girls sit and watch fucking these people, and I'm like, I thought they were cancelled. It's like, well, no, not anymore. They said sorry. I was like, all oh, right. <laughs> what? And I was like, what do they do? 
They play computer games and we watch them. Why don't you just play the computer game? That's what annoys me. I, to a, to a degree, I, I can get why if they're playing games that they would have a following. Because if they're good at it, and they do like Twitch streaming. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Like, and yeah. they sh- they show you how to do things on a game. I get all it. All that. Well, yeah. I saw them watching one thing, right? And this bloke has got his house, which is. To be fair, I, don't, I think it's not that hard to get a big house in America, though, is it? But anyway, he's got this fucking giant house, and he's turned one room into his Hawaiian paradise, and he's got like like 1500 tons of sand in now in that room and a tiki bar and all that and then in the other room he's got those you know those orbies like a water yeah. it's like a little ball full of water the girls used to have one for that like to massage their feet but anyway he's filled another room with like two million of those and it's like why have you done that what unless you've put an alligator in there like jackass what what is the point? It fucking annoys me. It gets me blood red mad. I saw a grown man playing hide and seek with his kid. And they're running past their Ferraris and that. And I'm like, oh, you f- fuck you. Why were you watching that? I wasn't. Oh, okay. I walk in. I, I kick him out of the, out of the room now. Get, get out of my house. Yeah, I want to kick him out of the house, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I'm like, you've got your own telly. Take this shit upstairs and let me finish Game of Thrones because I'm now into it. You still haven't finished that. Oh. I can only watch on my days off. I'm getting uh, there. I mean, you've got no Xbox now. No, Xbox is dead. George has got two. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, well, I think I can't, was... I can't play Valhalla anymore. Uh, well, no, nor can I because I... it's stuck in the fucking Xbox. Kate was going to get me a new one, and she was like, "But it says it doesn't. Cu- it, you can't play discs on it." And I went, "Well, that's yeah. the new one, isn't it?" it... That's yeah, because I got George that for her, her birthday, and let her keep her old one, uh, her mum's, so that she didn't have to keep taking her Xbox to and from, and can't play Valhalla. Valhalla, mate. So I've completed the story. Disappointing. Yeah. But I haven't completed all of the bits. I completed so many bits, and then I had to get the two expansion bits so I could go to France and Ireland. And I completed all that. (laughs) (laughs) I was just ultimate Viking. After it took me so long, and I had to keep phoning you, how do we do this? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah That's I always felt bad though because it was Georgie's Xbox but my game so when she would go like Can sometimes I I, no I just I just put it in the front room and she wrote yeah. dad can I play my Xbox please hey when you stop paying rent <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, so me and the girl Kate when um, where did she go she went out for something. I can't remember where she went. Um, so it was just me and the girls, and we had a uh, Nintendo Switch night, and we were playing Mario Kart. I let them have one. <laughs> one each, or just one? No, I, no. Well, I say I let them have one. I was getting used to using this tiny little thing that barely fits in my hand. Mm. And Sophia smashed me, and I went, well, that's it, motherfucker. Game is on. <laughs> After that, I don't think I lost a, a single, <laughs> a single race <laughs> when it stays on. Yeah. <laughs> you, you need to get an Oculus so we can play golf. I want to play golf. No, it's great. I want to. I want to beat up Darth Vader. Or the oh, plane. No, the plane the made me a bit motion sickness, but I think I was also pissed while I was playing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and someone shoved a lolly in my mouth. Yeah. Was that you? No. I wouldn't know where to get the lolly. Um, maybe it wasn't a lolly. Um, maybe you are gay. Maybe. Um, 
on Thursday. The, no, the plain one's good. I haven't. I've yet to play it, like two player. Because everybody that has got an Oculus that I know is like, oh no, I don't like that game, mate. It makes me feel sick. I've, I've I think seen, it's great. I've, I keep, I kept sending you some games. I don't know if that's the same one as you've got. You got the one with the it was like a zombie game, and this bloke like whistles tunes as he's doing it and throws knives at zombies. You start dancing. No, um, that's not the zombie one I've got. I can't really play that. I'm too scared. Yeah, that, that was a really good. It was funny. Oh, he's singing away. But anyway, and what was the other one? There's one where you're like a, you can be a Jedi. And you can just go around just lightsabering people. It's brutal. Like you cut people's heads I th- off. Oh, I think, I think that it, there's like a, a sword fighting game and it's like a mod you can get for it. But you have to get, it's called a side quest. And like if you if you start using things like that, I think it like knack like knackers your warranty on the it's a bit like cracking your your PS one so uh, you can p- play oh, yeah. all all the games if you know what I mean. Or was it Oh that that, that was we used to send that to Adrian Hartland, wasn't it? Yeah. The mad scientist. Yeah. He was So John Jones is smashing so on. Yeah, elbows. He's so thick. Even his his legs are big now. Not his calves, though. Yeah. Have you seen the picture? I saw it. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. Uh, uh, I saw it. No, no I didn't. No. Oh. Yeah, he's a big old boy. Yeah. I'm not too, well, I'll probably wake up in the morning because my, my days of get, staying up until yeah that's not happening five in the morning i'll get up and go for my morning glory and uh try and find it on instagram i'll I'll spoil it for myself because i mean i the problem is like i can't even wait until tomorrow when i finish work because somebody at work will tell me the outcome of the fight yeah or because i have to go on facebook at work because we've got loads of work groups on Facebook. Facebook I'll open up Facebook, and the first thing will be the result. So, can't do that. Can't do that, mate. I might as well just find it out for myself and maybe watch it on Fight Pass later. Yeah, do that. That crazy Russian lady's fighting as well, isn't she? Andre Shevchenko. What's her actual name? <laughs> Valentina. She's a Shevchenko, though, isn't she? Yeah. That's got to be Ukrainian. Bullet. That's Ukrainian, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. It's a, well, it's a Ukrainian surname, I think. From Mother Russia. Well, no, it's from Ukraine. So I, I was talking to... I've, I've got a Ukrainian that works with me. <laughs> and So I've got one. And he... Um, I, was, I asked him, I said... Why is it not Dynamo Kiev anymore? Why is it Dynamo Kviv? Yeah. They put a they random all... Y in there, didn't they? I think. Well, no, it's because it's in Ukrainian and not Russian. Dynamo Kiev. Is it Kiev? Kiev. Are, are you saying Keith? <laughs> Keith. Dynamo Keith. <laughs> 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 Dynamo Keith Richards. It's like um didn't didn't Turkey do something crazy with their like lettering as well? I mean it might not be crazy, mate. I think it's just that people have gone right, fuck you, England. Well, it's a bit like the Welsh putting up signs in Welsh. Well the Welsh, you're in Wales. the Welsh are now not being Referred to in football terms as Wales, are they there? Cymru. Yeah. That's good. Cymru. Way there, bud. Tidy. They're not now known as the Wales national team. They're known as Fatty's fucking boys. Hot dogs for tea boys. By their own fucking glue. <laughs> Top movie. 
love a bit of Twin Town. If yeah, you didn't I'm know what that bit. was. If you didn't know what that was, we can't be friends. It's true. True story. Have you been to Mum's Seaside Town yet? Not yet, mate. It's far away, isn't it? It's a distance, yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. <coughs> I think it's, it's it's worth a go just for two pound fifty a pint, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if that was just that day. All oh, right, but on the high knee. Hmm. But yeah, it's um, it's very much like Saundersfoot. If Saundersfoot was full of Welsh people and not tourists. Ah. There's the sea. Live by the sea, but... Yeah. For a woman who doesn't swim. Or particularly like the beach. What? Or particularly like the beach. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Poor call. Yeah. I I think call is a Welsh dish. It's like a a broth with lamb and leeks. That's not why it's called Porth Call. What's Porth mean then? Gate. I think. Gate of broth? No. No. (laughs) Because I thought Porth meant port, but it doesn't, because mum lives in Burryport. Oh, so Port means port. Porth means gate, I think. In Welsh, to you knowing your motherland. Language. Yeah, no, I, uh, I had to like Google because there's certain words that I was like, like Castle Koch. Do you know what? Do you know what that means? Red Castle. Castle Koch. <laughs> it means red castle because it's. Oh. Koch. Is that red? Yeah. I think, if I remember correctly, I might be to all of my Welsh. <laughs> to, all our, to all my Welsh listeners. Love you by I, that. Up. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I Googled that correctly. And mum, when I said, said it to mum, she went, but it's pink. She doesn't know. And I said to mum, the Welsh language is really old. And so she was like, yeah. I, well, it may have been red. But back when they named it Castle Koch, they might not have had a word for pink. Yeah. And she was like, well, of course they have. I was like, no, not necessarily. It's really old. Seven dollars. Yeah. Such an angry... She phoned me when you went down there. She phoned me. 11 times in a row she does that and I was like I'm not answering this shit <laughs> <laughs> well, I did that I, cause we spoke earlier in the evening and they and she was pissed then <laughs> yeah. and I was like this is only going to go uh, this is only just going to annoy me I'm not having this I'm about <laughs> to go to bed I'm not having seven dollars especially if I haven't been drinking yeah <laughs> Not having it. Oh. <laughs> She's a crazy Welsh woman. Apparently she's selling tickets to the football match. What? For your football match? Yeah. For, oh. Like to her neighbours and that. I'm like, that's a that's a journey for them. <laughs> yeah, they're all mental. Oh. And then I had Mike go in. Ah, our neighbour, our neighbour's a good player. I don't care. <laughs> I have eighteen players, maybe nineteen. Well, I've got an, basically enough. I could play one for first half and another team for the second half if I wanted. I don't need any more players. You don't think for a second that Edwin is going to take me off the pitch, do you? First I think half. he gets. I think he gets joy out of seeing. Me so very tired. Probably. Like I'm not joking. When we sat in the pub afterwards, all my legs did was cramp. Yeah. Like immense cramp. 
I could I couldn't walk because I should have um gone up half a size in those boots. Yeah, your toe was fucked, wasn't it? Toes. Lost both yeah. big toenails. Mm. And then uh and then I thought, oh, do you know what? They must have been broken in. So I did a training session with Dan, put them on, um, right right toenail, big fucking bruise in it, and now half of that's come off in the shower. Mm. Fuck those boots. Fuck your toenails. Fuck my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my feet. I should have stayed. I should have stayed with the Nikes, mate. Well, my 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 feet didn't hurt too badly, other than the obvious because I've been running around for fucking ninety yeah. minutes. But so my legs, my legs but, are so very very tired. Before we um close off this this wonderful episode. I have got one reel that is now on the verge of getting 200,000 views. And that oh, my Dar- reel. And that is Darren William <laughs> trying to kill the goalkeeper. <laughs> have, have, I to- have I told you my thought process? I would, I'd like to think that you just wanted to kill the goalkeeper. That's what I've got. I did. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely did. Right. In the build up to that, I knew that ball was going to go where it was going to go. And I knew I'd probably be a step too slow to get to it. And this is all like this is like a split decision, a split split second decision. Because I could see how um Matey Boy was lining up and I was like, he's gonna whip this six yard box. Probably not gonna make that, but I could probably do that little twat. <laughs> I can probably do that little twat that plays for fucking Spurs. And then in that moment, as I fucking launched myself at the keeper, I literally went, "He's a kid, mate." <laughs> pulled my leg. Pulled my le- no, because like obviously he's he's potentially going to go and play professional football. Yeah. The way I was going into that challenge, that would have done him for, for at least. A few months, but that was that was the thought in my head. Well, if I can't get the ball, I'll take him. I've got <laughs> a Spurs trophy. Friendly. <laughs> uh, yeah. No so I thing. um, no such thing as a friendly. So yeah, I had to literally pull out of the challenge that I was going to put in within like a millisecond because I was like, nope, stop it. <laughs> but my intention was to do him, yeah. Fair enough. But I didn't. I didn't. He didn't. My old man head came on. Good for you. Well, mate, I've enjoyed this. Yeah. Generally, I would stay for longer, but Kate's been fucking pinging messages. Yeah, I've got to uh, cook my dinner yeah. anyway. I'm not going to lie. I also need a poo. Uh, nice. Nice. All right, mate. Oh. Now all of, all of your follower know that. Yeah, just the one. Chris Smith. Thanks <laughs> for <Just a> coming. <laughs> Now, here's to the next. Yeah, get me on again soon. You just got best best me. Just message him. All right, mate. All right, mate. I'll speak to you soon. Where's my cursor? Lost it. All right, bye. bye.